In the last video we played around with Wireshark and got to know the ping utility. In this video we'll have some more practice with Wireshark. So just like the previous video, please click on the link in the description below and try to solve the exercise and the answer the questions. Pause the video. Then resume the video and I'll show you a guided solution of the exercise. Have fun! This time we were given a PCAP file, so we don't need to sniff on our own. So the first question was, how many packets were sent to 192.168.13? Okay, so I've opened up Wireshark, and in order to filter IP address, if you remember how to do that, we can already write the display filter in case you don't. So again, let's just pick any packet that has an IP layer. So this one has IP, and we'll go to the destination field. And again, use right click, apply as filter, and select it. So we have ip.destination equals some address and now we can change it to the relevant address so 192.168.13 and we can see a bunch of frames here and if we look down below we can see that out of 292 packets overall in the sniff file 149 are displayed and this is the number we were looking for, 149 packets that have been sent to this specific address. So we found 149 packets. Question number two, what frames are ARP frames? Provide the frame numbers. Okay, so back to Wireshark, um, let's filter ARP frames. So I could just guess and write here ARP and that should do the job. We only have three frames here, um, and we if we're looking for the numbers, so we just go here to the number column in the left, so we have 87, 134, and 135. That's it. So 87, 134, and 135. How many packets have we captured overall? Okay, so as I've said before, in order to see how many packets we've captured overall, we can just go here and see packets 292. Quite simple. Back to the whiteboard, 292 packets. Next question. How many of these packets are TCP packets? Okay, so again, in order to filter a specific protocol, we could just type the name of the protocol to the display filter, so TCP. Now notice that not always do we see TCP here in the protocol column. The reason is that TCP is a fourth layer protocol and sometimes you can find other protocols on top of that. And then Wireshark displays the uppermost protocol. So in this case, if we go to the specific packet, so I clicked here, we see the different layers. We have Ethernet for the second layer, IPv4 for the third layer, TCP as the fourth layer, and now we have SSL, Secure Sockets layer, on top of that. And that's why even though this packet is a TCP packet, it includes a TCP layer, it still shows as something else here, TLS, um, in Wireshark. And since we were asked how many packets are TCP packets, then again, we can just look here down below. So out of 292 packets overall, we have 234 packets that are TCP packets. So for the last question, 234. Okay, so that's enough about Wireshark for now. We'll use it again in future videos as well. In the next video, we'll talk about standards.